Welcome to MKE Gadgets. Today we're going to make a storage tube for grocery store plastic bags. All I use is a piece of PVC tube, an end cap with a hole drilled in it, and a couple of clamps that hold it to a piece of plywood. The hole in the bottom gives you access to the bags. When you come from the grocery store, you just place the bags on top and that pushes them down. And then you can grab another one from the bottom. First thing we need to do is cut a hole in the end cap. And let's go to the lathe. I have a four inch PVC end cap. I'm gonna place on a lathe. Tighten it down. I'm gonna come in with a three inch Starrett hole saw. The lathe is going to turn the cap and the tail stack will hold the hole saw in place. What you're thinking you might not have a lathe but you could do this in a drill press a milling machine or just place a clamp on it and hold it with a hand drill the hole saw left a little bit of a burr I'm just going to take a deburring blade and remove any burrs on the inside and the outside as well You want it nice and smooth inside so the bag doesn't get snagged as it comes out. That's the hardest part of this whole project. Let's go to the bench and assemble it. With all the parts here, it's time to assemble. Four inch end cap on the lathe, we put a hole in the end. I have a four inch piece of PVC about 30 inches long, two clamps. When you buy your PVC, buy the clamps at the same time. I took a piece of plywood I had and I cut it to eight and a half by 27. I drilled four holes and I countersunk them. I used quarter 20 flathead cap screws three quarters of an inch long with a nut. Laid it all out, bolted it down, drill a hole on the top for a screw to mount it to a wall. That's all you have to do to make a nice storage tube for all those plastic bags you get from the grocery store. As always, this is MKE Gadgets. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.